you guys so today I'm gonna be doing my very first video I've actually done videos on YouTube before like a really really long time ago um, they're just private it now because honestly like I was filming for my laptop and the quality was just bad today I'm gonna be playing with the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe I honestly have been wanting to use this palette more I only used it once and honestly these shades are really really gorgeous I don't know why I haven't played with it yet but I'm gonna do that today check it out I actually won this on a giveaway so thank you for Ritzy Co for sending this to me it was really cool of them so shout out to Ritzy Co okay so first I'm gonna start off with my brow I'm actually gonna do my foundation on my forehead first I like doing my foundation first on my forehead because I honestly don't like doing my brows first and then foundation like I have trouble with that I don't know how girls do it but I'm just gonna do my foundation first and then do my eyebrows so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then I'll be back so I already finished doing my eyebrows next I'm gonna be using MAC cosmetics soft ochre and I'm gonna apply this all over my lid focus the brush that I'm using came in an Urban Decay palette, so sorry y'all, I don't have the name, it rubbed off on it. So I already applied my duct tape. You don't have to do this, but for me this is a little bit easier. It guides me to actually do better, because <laughs> without it, like it's a total mess. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my transition shade. I'm going to start with this shade first. And this is an Ips taper blending brush that I received on my Ipsy Blend Bag. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade and I'm using a Morphe 506 brush and I'm gonna apply this all over my crease. I'm adding that mustard transition shade once again and I'm using a Morphe 514 brush. Now I'm going to go in with this dark purple shade and I'm also using another Morphe 506 brush and I'm going to apply this all over the crease. Now I'm going to go in with their darkest color and I'm going to use a Morphe 507 brush and I'm going to apply this all over the crease. Now to cut the crease I'm using Laura Mercier. Um, it's actually an eye basics base in shade of wheat. Now we're going in with the green and I'm using a Luxie 182 brush and this is gonna go in the middle of the lid. ready for the gold because I am. I'm using a Real Her Cream Shadow Brush and this is going to go in the inner part of the lid. Now I'm using my Morphe 149 brush with that mustard shade. I'm going to apply it right below my lash line. And with dark purple color, I'm going to apply it really close to the lash line and I'm using a Morphe 508 brush. For my liner, I'm using Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in Perversion. Now I'm going to curl my lashes with my Revlon Curler and I'm going to apply my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. These are my favorite lashes at the moment from Ritzy Co called Unbothered. If you want to save some coin, use April 15 for 15% 15 off.
You got to end the eyes with some bling bling. So to finish the eyes, I'm going to be using this sparkly white shade to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to prime my face with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. And I like this primer because it's moisturizing and it dries semi-matte. Of course, I have to use the Pro Filter Foundation. And I'm in shade 240. This foundation is good for oily skin types because it will dry matte, girl. Aw, look at my little mini concealer from NARS. This is in shade Custard, and I'm going to try to conceal away all my freaking dark circles, you guys. Freaking Mercury Retrograde took its toll on me. If you guys don't know what Mercury Retrograde is, Google it. It was supposedly, it happened during December 3rd and the 22nd. And if you guys don't know what it is, stay woke, you guys. Google it and stay woke. Girl, this Maybelline Fit Me powder, let me tell you, it has replaced my Laura Mercier powder. Like, no joke. That girl's gone. This girl's in. Like, you guys need to get this powder. It's a freaking blessing. Now, for bronzer, I'm going to bronze my face with MAC Cosmetics Give Me Sun. And I'm going to use this e.l.f. complexion brush. I'm going to do a little contouring with Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer and I'm using an e.l.f. small tapered brush. I'm also going to do a little contouring on my nose as well. For blush, I'm using NARS Orgasm. NARS be having some naughty names and I'm using a Firma 102 brush. So next, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Sugar Kit. It's this one right here. And to apply it, I'm going to be using a Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. This brush is so cute. It's like a blurple color. It's blue and purple. I call it blurple. It's really cute. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put... I think I'm going to use Marshmallow today. So it's this color right here. Oh my god, this watch is so pretty. Damn, I am glowing. Holy shiznas, yas. And I'm gonna apply some on my cubit spot. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm using the same brush. You could use a smaller brush, but I hate washing brushes. I'm using what I got right now. For the lips, I'm going to be using NYX Nutmeg Lip Liner. This is, come on, focus, boo. There you go. And it's from NYX, baby. And I'm going to use Colored Rain's Liquid Lipstick and Truffle Rain. Okay. I'm going to get in there. And this is the final look. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. That will mean a lot to me. So I hope to see you guys soon. Damn, this actually came out real good. Like, whoa. Face, okay, I got, I got like one of those little lint things stuck in my eyelash. <sighs> So yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah, I'm gonna peace out.